Scream Blackula Scream was probably the most enjoyable black horror movie of the 70s. It is an upgraded version of Blackula, but it manages to establish Mama Walde as more of his own character. When you watch this film, if it wasn't apparent in the first movie, you realize that you aren't watching a bunch of stereotypes. The characters are unique and thrive from individual personalities. The movie also manages to present black themes in a manner of exploration as opposed to simple entertainment. Although the name Blackula is laughable to some, the film is meant to be anything but comedic. And whereas the African element is usually presented as more of a backdrop, I feel that the African element is a central theme that is explored in this film. As far as how accurate it is in depicting African traditional religions, it is the furthest thing from an exploitative depiction that simply uses the word voodoo as a marketing concept. Scream Blackula Scream tells the tale of Lisa Fortier, played by Pam Greer, a powerful voodoo initiate who is in contention for the title of leader in her spiritual community after the death of a local voodoo queen. In order to exact revenge, Willis Daniels, played by Richard Lawson, summons Prince Mama Walde, who is played by William Marshall, back from the dead. But instead of using the power of the vampire prince, Willis falls in line and gets turned into a vampire himself. Prince Mama Walde, back from the dead, goes on another killing spree amongst the voodoo community with nothing left to lose after the events of the first film. Police officer Justin Carter, played by Don Mitchell, an ex-detective and Lisa's boyfriend, is enlisted to help solve the crime. But once Mama Walde finds out that Lisa is a powerful voodoo practitioner, he seeks her out for aid to cure his vampirism. Again. Prince Mama Walde is more of his own character in this film. Early on, we are reminded that Mama Walde was given the title Blackula by the famous Count Dracula. So right there, it's a separation from the two characters. Blackula is not a Dracula imitation. I think many may see the title and assume that this is the case when it isn't. It's the separation of characters that we experience in the first film that's further solidified in the second it also plays to a central theme of the film. The story of Prince Mama Walde is one of forced enslavement. Mama Walde never asked to be a vampire. It was thrust upon him against his will by the white Count Dracula. Now, Mama Walde is cursed with a hunger for blood. This hunger is symbolic of a hunger for money and power that is forced upon enslaved peoples when being taken from the motherland. In the film, Prince Mama Walde is a victim to his hunger for blood, but it doesn't stop him from trying to free himself of the curse or return to his people. However, Mama Walde is more of a ruthless character in this second film. I think this stems from the fact that he lost his wife in the first film. And in essence, as I mentioned in the previous video on Blackula, all of this could be reminiscent of the breaking of the black family. Mama Walde's one shot at getting back to his wife was ruined. She's resting in the afterlife in the more peaceful plains, but even in death, I'd imagine that given his curse and what he's done, his soul would never be able to rest with her. Mama Walde is much like the enslaved father, sold and shipped miles away from his family on a separate plantation. But in this instance, instead of a plantation, it's a lifetime. Mama Walde's inability to get to his wife is symbolic of all attempts made to destroy the black family and the effects that still exist to this day. Hence why Mama Walde never reaches his goal. Prince Mama Walde has no more love in his heart in this film. He awakens again to further explore what black Americans have become. Well, take it out on your black ass! You made a slave of your sister, you're still slaves, imitating your slave masters. Hey, sucker. <laughs> so, 
Mama Walde is no longer looking for love. He's looking to become a leader of his people once again. But when Justin Carter, an ex-detective, interrupts along with the police, it can be seen as an interruption from institutional authorities. Going back to the common black horror element of African spirituality, outside of the theme of race, Scream Blackula Scream is a black horror movie that examines the culture of voodoo. It's not a film that simply names it or presents it as this scary force for the white Christian imagination. Scream Blackula Scream explores the African idea of spiritual power and how it can be used to both heal and harm. This is the truth for most African traditional religion, but we usually only see voodoo presented as the villain in most films, but in this film, it's the cure. The film explores the realm of African-American spiritual beliefs. The black characters in the film can wrap their heads around beings such as vampires, and I think this is supposed to speak to the supernatural nature of Africans. It's not a secret that Africans are a spiritual people. So in this film, the black character's ease of being able to accept the reality of the situation is contrasted by the American societal lack of superstition. The film is also accompanied by great performances all around. This film is the beginning of Pam Greer's road to becoming a scream queen. She plays a spiritually strong and capable woman in this film. It is a far cry from most black exploitation stereotypes. William Marshall is menacing as a character and has that same air of sophistication of an African king. And we see appearances from other black horror movie veterans in these films like Janae Mitchell who starred in The House on Skull Mountain. Overall, Scream Blackula Scream is a good combination for a black horror film. The only thing setting it back is the black exploitation tag and the title Blackula. If it were named something else, like Mama Walde's Revenge or something of that nature, the film could see tremendous success as its own story. And if it didn't have the black exploitation tag, I think many would see it as a genuinely good black horror film.